welcome to the truth, true news, news you can trust, the truth behind the news. I'm Russell Brand, the host of it. Subscribe here, it helps uh, us to grow and then we'll have more power and we'll be able to serve you better because we are your servant. We're racist now! I declare that Mark John Reckless has been elected as the Member of Parliament for the constituency of Rochester and Strood. Hold on, it's not racist just to say that if people come from somewhere else they shouldn't be able to live here and we should prioritise people from here first. It is actually. Mark Reckless, second elected UKIP MP. Let's not spend too much time dwelling on the fact that the bloke who's been elected is called Mark Reckless either. That's not a stupid name. It takes real grit to put yourself forward for election. Mark Reckless was MP for Rochester anyway when he was the Tories. Then he joined the UKIP and now is the MP again. Doesn't that suggest to you that if he hasn't had, a, had to have an ideological meltdown to leave the Tories and join UKIP, that there's no bloody difference between the Tories and UKIP. Yet politics is the alternative to anarchy or despotism. It isn't the alternative to despotism in this case, because what is despotism? There's some people that are in charge, and it doesn't matter what you do, they will continue to be in charge. And anarchy, may I tell you, it means organising yourself into communities that are self-governing, and everyone within that community is responsible for one another. It's not like, anarchy, kick the bins over. <laughs> It's like, right, okay, so we need to do a mother's meeting. Right, Steve, are you going to take control of that? Well, I think it should be a woman. Good point, Steve. We are blessed here to take it for granted. Thank you also to my agent. Agent? And to my family. Well, I'm just about on my way in to get back to work. My uh, constituents in Rochester and Strood have rehired me, and I thought it would be uh, straight back to work was the best thing. Oh. Thanks, you're a blowjob, mate, for doing your job. <laughs> oh, you prepared to go back to work? Oh, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark, for turning up the House of Parliament like no one did when we were voting on a drug reform bill, like no one did when talking about uh, living wage, like everyone did when they were voting for politicians' wages. But why are UKIP getting this traction? Why do UKIP seem appealing? Many would say it's because of their, uh, like their anti-immigration, anti-Europe stance at a time when a lot of people feel frustrated. In times of frustration and fear we are looking around for people to blame and looking at people that are different that are sort of in your community sometimes i suppose that can seem attractive but in his victory speech reckless told britons that ukip would give you back your country now like perhaps some of us feel that there's a sense that our country has been taken away from us like oh, we don't have, what does that mean you've lost power right is there any truth to that is there a group of people that have come into our country that have exploited us, that have stolen our resources and don't give back. Well, I've got some interesting figures here that you will like, but well, you don't like, they're gonna incense you, but they're vitally important. 4.5 billion is lost every year to tax avoidance. Big companies like Google, Amazon, Starbucks, foreign companies coming over here, stealing our jobs, not paying their way. Cuts were made in 2010 of 80 billion. Do you know that since the stock market crash, 81 billion has been spent on banker bonuses. So the 80 billion that George Osborne took from us in cuts is the same money that bankers gave each other as bonuses. Not their salaries, this is bonuses. You know, get bonuses for when you're doing particularly well. George Osborne campaigned to prevent caps being put on banker bonuses. So when George Osborne was making cuts, like if you're scanning the landscape, is there anywhere, anywhere that we could get this money? No. His former boss trying to shrug off the loss of one of his safest seats. I'm absolutely determined to win this seat back at the next general election. What difference does it make if he does win it back? What difference does it make? That was a Tory MP. It's the same guy. Don't be distracted by the colour of their badges. They're not distracted. They can all join each other's parties. They all believe the same stuff anyway. UKIP is run by a gambler, or not run, back by Stuart Wheeler. He's an old Etonian. Oh, what a change. UKIP, the People's Party. Who's paying for it? Who's the person that funds it because they will benefit most? A posh geezer from Eton who's an investment banker and founder of the IG Index Spread Betting Company. He used to give five million to the Conservative Party, but then he realised he didn't get as much traction as he could by founding his own party and just take some of the Tory MPs with you. Farage wants to give 
16,000 millionaires another tax break of over 100 grand. They advocate the flat tax. That's a party which means that working families in areas like South Yorkshire should pay the same tax rate as the richest top 1%. They're not a party of ordinary people. What they've got is because of David Cameron, who even at a train station saying, I'm determined to win this seat back. Oh my God, what do I have to do? Why can't I sound normal, nanny? Don't say nanny at the end of sentences. Got it! At UKIP HQ, sleep deprived exhaustion combined with joy and relief. You're conservative UKIP Switzerland? Yeah. Uh, and do you think many of the people you know did that? Um, yes, yeah, all my family did, my friends did, so, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised by the result. I'd back UKIP if they went, vote for us, right, because tell you what, you know the 80 billion in austerity cuts that were made? The same amount was paid in banker bonuses, so if you put us in, we'll put solid regulation on the city, we'll put a tax on their trading, we'll control them and regulate them, we'll make them pay for what they've done to your country. If someone says that, I'm like, you got my vote. But if someone just goes, oh, you know, really poor people that have got nothing. Oh yeah, no, I've seen them everywhere. More of them, more and more of them. They're robbing you. Are there any specific issues here that made you think UKIP rather than Conservatives? Um, well, probably immigration. I understand how those people feel because immigration is an evocative issue. If you see things changing, if you see things different, it's easy to attach those emotions, those feelings of loneliness and despair and hopelessness to the things that are changing or to people that talk different from you or look different from you. It's a shame, isn't it, that has been suggested by some that bankers and politicians aren't forced to wear the logos of their sponsors, that bankers aren't supposed to, that should be, I think bankers should have those bonuses, but they should be made to go to work with a sign around their neck saying, Oh, if I add some of that 80 billion bonus that could have been used to pay for your hospitals, make it visible. The problem is immigrants are visible, bankers and the financial elites are invisible. We have to make them visible. We have to tell the story of their duplicity and their dishonesty. We have to take our country back. We have to control our country because otherwise it's going to be controlled by posh geezers in different coloured ties that could be in any party that will have them. Their new old MP, Mr Reckless, sworn back into Parliament this morning alongside his fellow defector, his tie, purple. The kipper chaos for the main parties, far from over. The important thing is, don't be distracted by the argument of immigration. There are an invading force in your country. They're exploiting you and taking your resources. It's called the financial industry. They're coming into your countries and they're stealing your jobs. They're not like you. They don't care about you. They don't respect you and they want to destroy you. And unless you unite and stand up against them, they will take your country from you. That is the truth. a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Truths is like the news. If the news was true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths.